Hey everybody, Tim here, and today I'm just going to go through my Knaf's knife burrito. This hangs on my wall. You can see the little grommets here, and these are the knives that I typically look at and go, okay, which one do I want to put in my pocket today? Um, so here we go. So as you can see, the first thing, got my patches. If I decide to put in a, you know, carry a little pouch that has the Velcro, I throw a patch on or two. Um, but I do kind of prefer a leather uh, pocket organizer. I think it's a little little nicer in the pocket. Um, and then as you can see, we just have, these are the knives I start to, to go through. And uh, yeah, so we'll figure we just go through them. All right, so the first is the Knafs Lander. Um, just a great overall EDC knife, very affordable. These are Barnes Craft Scales. You can find him on Etsy and on Instagram. He makes a lot of great scales. Um, these are easy swap, and you can turn this knife into whatever it is you want that makes you happy. So that's the Lander. Uh, next is the Wee Banter. I just love this knife overall. It's just a nice slicey knife. Um, fits nice in the pocket, comfortable in the hand. And this is just an overall great EDC knife. Of course, sticking with the Ben Peterson designs, here is the Baby Banter. The size of this is perfect for a lot of my carry based on where I live and my restrictions at work. Um, but this is the Baby Banter. I have a little orange uh, bead on it. And, uh, you know, it's Halloween coming up, so I might as well make it a little festive. It's not... My favorite time of year, but it's all right. So that's the baby banter. Uh, next is the Spider Co. Native 5. Um, yeah, this is just a great, great overall knife for everyday use. I usually use this when I'm doing work around the yard and in the house. Um, it's lockup is solid. The steel is great, and it just it feels good in the hand. So this is the Native 5. Uh, then I have my Spyderco Pair 3. Um, I carry this a lot in the fall and winter. Um, you know, it's, uh, I don't know. To me, it just feels like a cold weather knife. <laughs> I live in the Northeast. So I uh, put a little Glow Rhino uh, plug in here. So that's kind of nice. My Lynch Clip. This is my pair of three. And then, you know, summertime carry, I have the pair of three lightweight. Just another great version of it. Um, weighs nothing in the pocket. Nice and slicey, pair of three lightweight. Uh, we'll go this way. This is my other yard work, work around the house knife. This is my bench made mini grip I really don't need to say anything more about that um, this is another nice easy lightweight carry I love this knife this is the Benchmade mini bug out it's just a perfect little EDC especially if I'm just wearing gym shorts and around the house um, but you know I dressed it up a little bit made it my own uh, this is my Benchmade full bug out I put uh, Flytanium G10 scales on it, uh, but you know this is a you really you know you really can't go wrong with the bug you know having a bug out and there's so many different versions of it you can get what makes you happy. Um, this is my TRM Neutron. This knife I carry quite a bit um, for my everyday tasks. This is a great blade shape, super slicey. Um, these scales, too, are also interchangeable very easily. You just remove the, the screws here, and the scale pops off. Um, and if you go to TRM Three Rivers Manufacturing's website, there's a lot of uh, different scale options to make this knife into what you want. But this is the TRM Neutron. Uh, and then the knife that gives competition to the bug out, this is the Hogue Deca. Um, I do prefer this one over the bug out, but that's my personal choice. Um, you know, and, you know, if you're into steels, this comes in 
a lot more steel options. Uh, and this came with G10 scales. I didn't have to go get aftermarket ones. Um, but this is the Hogue Deca. Um, yeah, this one feels just great in hand. Um, just a great user knife. This is the Deca. And then this one is more of my gentleman's carry, but I do love this knife. It's a, a titanium. Uh, this is a full titanium handle. You can see the little fanciness to the, the pivots and the um, thumb studs. This is the Toro Tor Tor Suter. Um, and uh, yeah, I really like this knife. Um, I did have a small issue with it when I first got it, but I sent it to Tor and they fixed it right up and yeah, now it's perfect. Um, you know, I find this is my, you know, going out to dinner gentleman's knife. You know, it's just a nice, simple little knife. Um, okay, then we have, this is the Odium. I picked this up on a sale on Blade HQ, I think for 30 bucks. Um, I think they still have some. This is the Civivi Odium. Um, I just figured I'd get pick up an orange knife for the uh, Halloween holidays. So this is the Odium, nice small little knife. Um, another one I just recently got, picked it up at a small EDC store on a business trip. Um, this is the Hatfield by Finch Knives. Um, gives kind of that old school, you know, style with a little modern flair. Um, this little emblem will glow, but this is the Hatfield by Finch. Um, I've been carrying this quite a bit. Absolutely love this knife. Super smooth, very slicey, just a great overall knife. And then I picked this one up recently. This is the Fermi by Glow Rhino. Um, this one was just fun. Um, I love the blackout with the titanium, oh, I'm sorry, the tritium, uh, inlay here you can see it's on both sides and then i went with the green uh, thumb stud and uh, yeah this one's buttery smooth super slicey just a great great little edc um, just a fun knife um, and then the rest of this in the morning kind of ends up being like my uh let's see here flashlights um, these tend to be the ones I'm carrying the most. The two I carry actually the most are this little this little gray one by Rovivon. Um, it disappears in the pocket or you can put it on a keychain. But this is these are great little flashlights. You can just pick these up on Amazon somewhere between 15 and 20 bucks. I got a few of them. Um, great little EDC knives. You know, my preferred go-to one is the Streamlight. I like the rechargeable. Um, this is just a great little overall EDC flashlight, very powerful, fits my needs. Um, and then, you know, you've got the Olight, you know, i3s, uh, i3Ts, I got a whole bunch of these. These tend to be the ones I'm carrying the most right now. You know, this brown bronze color, and then, you know, I like this, I've always liked this one, the kind of the blue with the silver, that's kind of nice. Um, and then, you know, a couple of pry bars. This is my Glow Rhino one. I've been carrying this one a lot. Fits nicely in a pouch or in your fifth pocket. Um, and because I have restrictions at work, a lot of times I do tend to carry a couple, uh, you know, a Swiss Army knife or um, a slip joint, which I keep in a different location. Um, but these are the two I carry the most for my Swiss Army knives, the Cadet and the Compact. So that is my go-to collection of knives um i uh as you can see here let's see you know this hangs on my wall it gives me a great selection to choose from in the morning i do have a whole bunch of other knives um but these are the ones that i carry the most so let's do today's carry because i got this nice ghost leather slip from epic uh, leather you can find him on uh, etsy plus uh, I'll, I'll see if I can leave a link down below. Um, but this is the ghost leather. As you can see, the blue is starting to come through. So we'll go with the, the blue cadet as today's multi-tool. And uh, we'll do 
the wee banter. And uh, of course the black streamline. And that will be today's carry. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, please subscribe and uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, thanks for watching. Have a great weekend, everyone.